wholeness and balance family one love hope you're having a beautiful day there had to pet my cat or I would use my hands to salute you <laughs> that and hold the phone hope you're having a beautiful beautiful day I certainly had a wonderful day doing earth meditation so that's what I wanted to share about today was uh, understanding how to build prana through uh, interaction with earth so there's many 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 ways in which earth can bring be a hurt healing force so on the one hand there's grounding you know being physically connected to the earth you absorb negative ions and these negative ions you know uh, power your mitochondria and replenish your cells and energize you and are antioxidants so they you know clean up free radical damage um, another thing so that's you know the practice of grounding people are pretty familiar with that I've talked about that somewhat uh, at some length you also are absorbing probiotic in the terms of the uh, beneficial bacteria that's in the soil through your feet you can also do this through gardening gardening is a wonderful um, actually it's a four elements all four elements in the garden are um, the angels of, of earth wind fire and water are healing you so by grounding you know getting that sunlight on our skin that causes vitamin D you know to become in our body somewhat magically you know um, that's the fire you know getting the good breath work you know but concentrating still on earth um, you know drinking water because you're exercising and you know replenishing yourself <clears throat> but concentrating on earth um, so another great thing that you can do is bring in um, things like bentonite or zeolite clay which are chelators that'll pull um, you know toxins from your deep tissue things like mercury and heavy metals uh, settle into places in your bones and chelators like uh, zeolite clay or bentonite clay uh, grass juice um, uh, cilantro parsley anything really green is going to chelate and pull deep toxins out and so that green too if you think about the earth being green and being connected um, sort of with the green chakra um, you can use green foods they're very mineralizing they're uh, full of the you know nutrient dense minerals that your body needs and that's kind of the earth element it's like stones right you know for building your bones and for growing your hair you know and your body is made of uh, 12 cell salts and these are you know your basics you know um, uh, sodium and phosphorus and potassium and uh, iron and but they come in different forms and if you burn anything down whether it's a plant or a human body uh, and calcine it or as they do in alchemy they make spagyrics by burning plants or um, after they extract you know the medicinal oils and sort of the spirit of the plant then they grind down the and purify the body with fire and a mortar and pestle until it's super fine and then you have the salts and then you recombine the oils and the salts and you have like a spiritualized uh, 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 alchemized uh, transmuted form of both and they birth new chemistry so similarly we need those cell salts and so green things of the earth are high in these um, cell salts um, so that's a great thing too and just your food in general is an earth meditation you know because we're sort of like plants that even the microvilla in our uh, uh, stomach are the exact same as the uh, uh, little rootlets on trees and plants that take up nutrients it's cellularly identical and so we make earth on the inside of our body we're like a plant that makes our inside earth on the inside of our body so we can walk around and then we absorb the sunlight we're actually all piezoelectric uh, carbon silica crystals so if you're piezoelectric you know this uh, sort of quartz crystal skeleton we have 
um, is superconductive, semiconductive, and uh, a, re a resonator as well. So we can, and every atom in of us, in us is made of light. You know, so this is sort of this body, this dense material form, made of you know bones and everything else, can actually be, in the Buddhist sense or in other traditions, uh, transmuted completely into light. And um, so that's like the rainbow transformation body. Um, so you can take this body of Earth, built of Earth, and it is light already. It, the the space between atoms you know, is large, and um, so, and they're only probably there in terms of being able to identify where they are at a certain time, so, you know, that's sort of the deeper places of where this pranic practice can go to, is to the spiritualization of your body, and um, becoming uh, more, uh, your light body becoming more strictly light, so, you know, it's all about the balancing of these four elements of earth, wind, fire, and water. So, the last thing I would speak to with respect to earth meditation, um, there's, there's a couple, but um, one, is, major one, is probiotic. And getting that, you know, uh, the biomedic, like we offer, that um, cleans glyphosate out of your body, but also making ferments, eating, you know, fresh fruits and things that have, you know, that, that are unwashed, um, then you receive this probiotic. Um, and also, like I said before, touching the soil. Um, and that is where a lot of your immunological response is. And we're actually an amalgamation of, of microbes. We're a, a sort of a super, super amalgam of microbes. Ni more than 99, or more than 90% uh, bacteria and fungi and things that aren't us so that's part of this earth matrix body that we have um, and then the other thing uh, last of all I would suggest forest bathing or nature bathing um, just going out into nature and being in and amongst the plants and other creatures and stuff our subtle en energy bodies connect and they um, have a, sort of a subtle information exchange um, so if you can just quiet your mind and be in stillness in nature, um, or even just being in nature will help your mind, uh, settle and still. And this set, settled still place, when we're most relaxed, we operate on multiple brainwave frequencies. Um, so we can actually bring much more of ourselves to the table. And by practicing this, you know, the neurons that fire together, wire together. So once we entrain to relaxed states of calm and positivity, the more naturally we go there without effort. Um, so that's the practice I offer to you. It's this grounded, centered thing. Oh, that, that would be one more piece, would be in your meditation practice. Um, thinking of, while you're meditating, sort of rooting yourself into the earth, of an actual root that goes down into the earth from your sacrum chakra. Um, I think in the air section next week we'll talk about pardon me I've been in dust all day <clears throat> uh, we will talk about now that I speak of air <laughs> um, uh, the microcosmic orbit uh, meditation um, and that will also get you familiarized with your earth chakra um, energy centers um, and will help you uh, to sense into this groundedness most of us uh, uh, don't really utilize these sensory centers. So we'll, we'll share about that next time. Though. So I hope that's helpful to you, family. I hope you're all in wholeness and balance today. I hope uh, this was of some benefit and that if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Wholeness. Job bless.